to Jesus, all honor to Mary. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for another day of worship. And we thank God for being alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Today is the third Sunday of Lent. Our topic of this reflection is titled, Don't Trade in My Father's House. Don't trade in my father's house. Our reading is taken from the Gospel of John chapter 2, from verse 13 to 25. The Lord is telling us, don't trade in my father's house. The Jewish feast of Passover was approaching, and the Lord Jesus Christ went to the temple in Jerusalem to worship. But guess what? Instead of meeting people busy with prayers and meditation, he saw the whole place busy with people who were buying and selling all kinds of merchandise. They were doing business in the house of God. Can you imagine coming to church and your first contact are bereaved the change operators, people selling animals for sacrifice and other trading activities. Yes, we use money to give offerings in church. Yes, we bring foodstuffs and other articles to express thanksgiving in church. Yes, we can meet old friends and associates in church. But should that be our priority? No, not at all. And that is what the Lord Jesus Christ was addressing when he told the disciples in this passage that my father's house is not a place of business. Don't trade in my father's house. My father's house is a house of prayer. Don't turn it into a house of traders. That is the message of today. You that is hearing this message, the Lord is talking to you. Do not turn your father's house into a house of trader. The primary purpose of coming to church is to worship and pray. It is not to socialize and strike deals. Hear me again. The primary purpose purpose of coming to church is to worship and to pray. It is not a place to socialize and strike deals. Our master had had to drive away all the people that he met in the temple because they had not really come to worship God. They came to do their own thing. The problem that the Lord dealt with on that occasion is still on us today. There are people who only come to buy and sell in and around the church, but not to worship God. Very soon you will begin to see sales promo, pr promos and adverts for the Easter season. But most of them are not pointing to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Rather, they are making money in the name of the season. Let me ask you. Why do you go to church? Or better still, what are you doing in church? Have you come to pray? Or have you come to trade? I will ask you this again. Have you come to pray in the church? Or have you come to trade? Do you go to church to worship or to meet your town people, your friends, your colleagues? Or to do connection in the church? Yes. Many people go to church because they heard they are looking for somebody, they are looking for one senator or governor or minister and they will go to his church. They are looking for him. Let's come. He's going for 6 o'clock mass. You go there to meet him. But you are truly not going there to worship God. You are not there to pray. But you are, get, you are in the church to make connection. God is talking to you today. My father's house is not a house of trade. Our father's house is a house of prayer. It is not a house of traders. May God help us to focus on Jesus, who is the true object of our worship, through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. To the glory of God in this season of Lent, we pray and I encourage us to check ourselves again. Is this message talking about you? Are you going to church because you want to trade? Are you going to church because you're looking for connection? Are you, going to are you coming to church because you're looking for one thing or the other and not to worship the truth and one God? God is talking to you.
come back. Think about it. Retrace your step. Let the church be a place of worship that it is. Let the church be a place of prayer for you. Do not use church as a place of trade. It is not a place of business. Church is a place of prayer. May the Lord help us and give us the grace and understanding through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you. I wish you a lovely Sunday and a fruitful week ahead. You are highly blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.